I S U P K. disobeying God. And, and I'm talking about simple things, like celebrating 4th of July, Thanksgiving. Right. I'm talking about simple things, about, what, about whatever you worship. Those things, small things that you don't know, eating pork, crab soup, and lobster, those things that, that, that seem small to you are disrespectful and breaking, the, and breaking God's law. And also nakedness, man. You have to cover up your body. It was a culture of the blacks and Hispanics when we, when we followed God that we covered our body, man. Our, our bodies were private, and only and only our only our wife or your husband would see your nakedness. Not the whole world, man. Black woman, you are better than that. And black man, you gotta raise your daughter up to teach her that she's a princess on this earth, man. She is not some whore. She is not some slut. But because she follows the culture of filthy America, now she's a slut and now she's a whore. But she is better than that, damn it. And black man, and black black man, you tell your woman that she's better than that. You tell her that, man. And you and the, and the way the way we change our sisters is what we is what we give her attention for. If you give your woman attention for dressing like a whore, she's gonna dress like a whore because she wants your attention and she loves your attention, man. Black man, you give your attention to something modest. You give your attention to something righteous and watch her change overnight, man. Give me, give me, uh, give me Genesis chapter nine and eighteen. We we gonna go back in history. We're gonna go back to Genesis and show and show and show different events of nakedness. Whereas though black people, we did not expose our body to the public and to other people. We were we are very private people when it comes to exposing our chest and our buttocks and our in our uh, our private areas, man. We were not how we were today in America. We're gonna read the story of Noah. You know about Noah? The fa the, the, the famous brother that built the ark. When God, when he, when he told the people, when, he, when, when Noah told the people that God is going to flood the earth, and they laughed at him. And then later on, the, the flood came, the water came, and those people drowned. And Noah lived because he obeyed God's voice. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 9, verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem. So now this is after the ark. We know, we, we know God flooded, flooded the earth. We know God flooded the earth, right? And first of all, hold up. The, the, the rainbow is supposed to symbol, it's, it's supposed to be a sign or a symbol that the Lord wasn't going to flood the earth anymore. Just, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not even going to get off topic, but the homosexuals sold, uh, stole something that, do, that does not belong to them. That rainbow don't belong to them. Go ahead. And Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Cain. These are, these are the sons of Noah. Shem, J Ham, and Japheth. Go ahead. Verse 20, it's like it. Verse 19, these are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. Right, so the whole earth, the whole earth, the white man, the Japanese, the Chinese, the East Indian, the blacks, the Africans, they all come from those three sons, either Japheth, Shem, or Ham. Go ahead. Verse 20, and Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vine. And what, and what does husbandman mean? Husband, husbandman, and that and he means a person that tilled the earth, a person that deal with the, that deal with the grounds, man. Go ahead. 
Verse 21. And he drank of the wine. Now I know it, now I know it, drink of the wine. You know when you drink wine, you get tired, you get sleepy. So this, this is what happened with Noah. When Noah, after Noah drank some wine, go ahead, and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. So now Noah, he got he got some wine, he drank too much wine, he went into his tent, and he was asleep, but he was naked. Now, let, now let's see what his sons did when they found their father naked. Go ahead. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, right? and told these two brethren without. Right, so now the younger son, he seen his father, he seen his father naked. The younger son was an idiot, and he teased his father. He said, oh look at my father, he drunk, and now he now he sleep naked in his tent. That was evil for him to do. He was not supposed to tease his father, because his father drank too much wine, and he fell asleep naked. Go ahead. And Shem and Japheth took a garment. Now this now this was a righteous thing. Right. Noah, Noah's two other sons, they did a righteous thing. They seen their father drunk off wine, and they were drunk, and he was drunk. This is what they did for their father. They did not tease or laugh at their father. Go ahead. And laid it upon both their shoulders. Now this is what they, this is what they did. The two sons took, took a cloth or a garment, they put it on their shoulder and shoulder, and they walked backwards and covered their father's nakedness so he won't be shamed. If you see a man right now drunk or a woman drunk and she naked, instead of laughing at him, you will cover them. That's what, what, their son, that's what Noah's sons did, read on. And went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Now why would the sons walk backwards as they cover their father? So they would not see their father's nakedness. So they would not shame him, man. And that's what, that, that's what, that, that's what, it, that's what we got to understand, the word shame. When, you, when we walk out here naked, we are shaming ourselves, man. When our daughters are walking around with two pieces and walking around looking like uh, not even Victoria's Secret, it's Victoria's front page, because everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. It's Victoria's front page now. It's flashing news. All our daughters and sisters out here naked, and we got to cover them up, man. Go ahead. And their faces were backward. And their faces were backward so they would not see their father's nakedness when they covered him up. It was never a culture of black people or Hispanic people to walk around naked. But after we, fought, after we followed and went unto slavery, under this filthy devil who was called the white man, and followed his disgusting American culture, now, we, now we're walking around naked. Now we have no shame. And now we're not modest anymore. Today, the, today the eyes should be gay. We are here to teach you the Bible, right. so we come back to the culture of God. To come back to our original culture, so the Lord will not be ashamed of us, man. Like I brought up before, the reason why black people are going, to, going through hell today, it is because our, God is punishing us. He's punishing us because we are not obeying him anymore. Black man, you got, black man and black woman, you got sons. You got nieces and nephews. And when they disobey you, what do you do when they disobey you? You punish them. You put them in time out. You tell them they can't go outside and play with their friends. You do whatever that punishment is. And right now, us being us struggling with drug addiction, us struggling with uh, rape in the community, and molestation, and, and and police brutality, and being at the bottom of the of the earth, and the bottom and in the bottom of this society is a punishment by God, man. And today I got and today I come out to teach against nakedness, man. I don't the, 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 just because the weather is hot does not mean you can be a thought, man. This, you cannot be a thought because it's hot. You are a daughter of Zion. It don't matter because it's hot outside. Cover your body up, man. Give me Deuteronomy, give me Deuteronomy 4 and 5. You ain't you you're not a white woman. In the, in the beginning, what did the white woman do? The white woman was the one who was out here wearing them booty shorts. Them, them, uh, them shorts cut all the way high and wearing those belly shirts. Now, now our daughter's doing it, man. And, and it's only because we do not know our culture. Our culture is a royalty. Our culture, we were, we were a people who were the most respected when we followed the laws of God. That's right. Now because we don't follow the laws of God, we are disrespected. We are called names. We are abused. And we have no justice for it, man. Black man, it's time you get back to this to back to this culture. It's time you get back to this structure, man. This structure in the Bible is the only thing that's gonna save our life. Why do I say that? Simple things. A black man, a black man trying to mess with another black man's woman. If we follow the Bible, we will we will never do it. Because the Bible says don't mess with another black man woman, another man's woman. We will never do it, man. And guess what? You wouldn't have no fights. A lot, a lot of our fights is over what? 
over money. Oh, and over what? Oh, he met, oh he, he was messing with, he, he tried to talk to my girl. Oh, he tried to do this. Simple things that could be squashed if we follow the laws of, the laws of God, man. And, and, and the biggest thing, black woman, no, no disrespect to your husband. If you have a man and you dress a half naked with though, the whole world can, if you dress naked or half naked and the whole world can see your body, you are disrespecting your boyfriend. You are disrespecting your man. You disrespecting your husband, man. Your, your husband is the only one that should be able to see your tail. Not nobody else, man. Only your man, only your man should see your body. If you're walking around here, if you're walking around here looking like a, dressing like a thot, where's your respect at, man? Who is going to, who is going to respect you? Go ahead, man. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Moses, Moses taught us statutes and judgments, man. But we all, we all, sometimes we know about code. For, for the brothers, for, for, the, for the brothers that been in, that been in games and hang out in the streets. You know the streets, so, the streets so-called had a code. And when, when you in a the gang, they so-called got a gang code. Well, guess what? Moses taught, them, taught us better, better codes than any street or any gang, man. This Bible got better code and better structure. Read on. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. And no matter, and just like Moses said, no matter where you go, no matter, no matter what condition, you follow those, you follow those laws, man. You follow those laws. Do not, do not, do not now lose your laws and follow the laws of white people, man. Because the laws of white people are backwards. The laws of white people are against the laws of God. That's why they allow homosexuality. That's why they allow, that's why they, they praise pork. They praise shrimp, crab, and lobster. But God said, don't eat it. Go ahead. Verse 6. That's why they praise <laughs> being on drugs. And the law called a drug dealer a witch. Go ahead, Tulaga, go ahead. Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding. This is what? This is your wisdom and your understanding. If you do not dress, if a, if a black woman or Hispanic woman does not dress, dress half naked like a white woman, she is what? This is your wisdom and your understanding. If a, if a, black, if a black woman stop dressing like a whore, she is what? Wisdom. If a, if a Hispanic woman stop dressing like a thot, she is what? Wisdom. That is your wisdom, man. That is your wisdom. You black women, Hispanic women, you are supposed to stand out from these white women. These white women are nothing but nothing but whores, man. They're nothing but tools. They love to be used. They nothing. Everybody can use them. They are. They go. They go to parties. They go to festivals and block parties and bars and get drunk. And they got husbands and boyfriends and have sex with anybody else. They say, "Oops, I was drunk. I was drunk." No, they're whores, man. They love drugs. They love getting drunk and having a good time and having sex with multiple men. Black woman, you're not supposed to be like that at all, man. Black woman, your, 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 your culture and your standards are supposed to be better. You are supposed to stand out from this white woman. Let her just, let her just have naked. Black, let her be free and be a whore. Let her be independent. Black woman, you ain't that. You different from that, man. You better than that, man. Go ahead, read it again. Keep their fall and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding. You are wise. You are, black women, you are wise if you do not dress half naked. You are wise if you do not take on the culture of this filthy America, man. America is the one that put, put their, try to put their spirit and their culture on us. And got our, and got our woman on a front page magazine dressing like whores. Got Rihanna, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj paying them millions to dress like whores. And guess what? Nicki Minaj, who does, she, who does she influence? Our daughters, our young sisters. You see the cycle? It's gonna be a continual cycle of boredom. It's gonna be a, conti a, a continual generation of harlots if we, do, if, we do not change, if we do not change our culture and change our laws, man. Give me Ecclesiastes, give me um, Ecclesiastes chapter five. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 21. We're going to learn today, man. You're going to learn that just because it's hot outside, if it's cold, hot, winter, you are not, to, you are not allowed to be a whore. 
You are not allowed to dress like a whore, according to the words of the, the words of God, man. And guess what? You're not going to be respected. If you want respect, how you do not dress like a whore? Don't wear the uniform of a prostitute. If you're wearing a uniform of a prostitute, what do you expect? People are going to walk up to you and grab on your behind. People are going to walk up to you and not treat you and not treat you like a princess. They're going to treat you like you could, like you could be bought because you're dressing like you can't. That you're dressing like you have a price. That's why, man. Where you at? You got it? No, give me 25, verse 21. Black woman, you are not allowed to dress like a prostitute. You are not God, according to the laws of the laws of the Bible. You are not allowed to dress like you have a price. What happened to being priceless? What happened to having value, man? And black man, and black man, what's your issue? What is your issue? If, if, if you stop giving her attention, like I said before, the black, your woman, she wants your attention. Your woman, she wants your love. Is she not, and these, these single women are not gonna be dressing like ho hoes if you stop hollering at them. You holler them, hey girl, what's going on girl? Hey, you whistling at them. And guess what? You, you feeding them attention. You worshiping them because they wear two piece. A two piece bikini, man. You got a, you got an Instagram all liked up with a million likes and a thousand likes when they're dressing like hoes. But when they at school or, or when, when they when they at that uh at that nursing home in them scrubs, she got five likes. But when she goes to the beach, Miami Beach, she got five thousand likes. There's something wrong, black man. You giving her too much attention on the wrong thing. She go, she's going to continue to do it, man. Where you at? Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 25 verse 21 and any, and any, anybody if you if you're a Hispanic woman or a black woman this is not out here this is not out here to uh, offend you we are not out here to offend you we are here because we love you and we want you to come back to the, we want you to come back to the laws of God and we and it's because we value you more than who we are today we value black men more than what we, we we know that we are a million times better than who we are today. Our black men are supposed to be soldiers and be strong, man. And our women are supposed to be modest and not be a thought and not be a slut. And, and, and to be a helpmate to their man. That's why we out here. That's why we're teaching this Bible, man. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 25, verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. And guess what, black man? You study, you, you, you are not, that's our issue. Your issue is every, every, all a man's issue, man. You stumble at the beauty of a woman, man. Go ahead, read it again. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Just because, just, just because a woman is beautiful does not mean you gotta fall for her, man. She could be a she could be a brad, she could be a bad bride, but she could be a whore. She could be a bad sister, but she she can you can get you can get caught up in some mess, man. She could be a bad sister, but run but wanna run your pockets or trap you or something. Go ahead. And desire her not for pleasure. And desire her not for pleasure, man. We gotta, we gotta want each other, black man. If you, if you choose a man to be your friend, don't just call him your friend because he hang around you, man. You wanna choose a man. You wanna choose a man who's gonna be a man. He, y'all gonna ride together for something righteous, man. Y'all gonna die for each other over something righteous. And when you choose a woman, you're not gonna choose an easy woman, man. A woman that like you because you're cologne. A woman that like you because you're car, man. That's something easy, cause guess what? You can have you can have a car, and then somebody pull up right pull up right next to you with a better car, and she gone up from up under your arm. She is gone. You want a you want a woman, you want you want a woman that wants you, man. You don't want her. You don't want a woman that's materialistic. You don't want you don't want to choose. The, you don't want her to choose you for pleasure. You don't choose her for pleasure. And you want you don't want to choose her. You don't, you don't want to choose. You don't want to choose her because you you see her body. You see her body, and, you, and that's why you you choose her because you see her body. You choose her because she walking around with her tail, man. You see her behind. You see that big behind, and you like, okay, I'm good. That's all I need. And you come to find out it's much trouble, man. You come to find out that you are in trouble. That's because you have to. That's because you have to talk to her. You have to date her and court her for some time. Date her for some time. Date her for six months to a year like we do. Date her for six months to a year. 
get to, get to know her without with, without having sex, with no sex, six months to a year, and see what happens. See if you really like her. See if you really gonna want to be with this woman for the rest of your life. Then that's that. Then that. Then that's when you're doing something right. But when you're trying to have sex, have sex with our, with our sister for the first night, you in trouble, man. Cause you don't know what's happening, what's gonna be, and wait for you the next day. Where you at? Read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 25, verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman, and desire her not for pleasure. And desire her not for pleasure. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong with. with it's nothing wrong with getting a black, with getting a, getting a beautiful black sister. It's nothing wrong with that. But what we're saying is, don't choose a wife because of her beauty. And that's 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 what we're messing up today. We're messing up today. We got we got the wrong spirit. Our young our young men, we get a woman who is beautiful to everybody, and we and we, we we parade her around and treat her like a trophy. We walk around. We bring her. We bring her to our friends, and we walk around with her in public, like, yeah, this is what I got. With other men looking at her, and she likes the attention of other men. She likes the attention, man. Just ask how you should carry it. She know all about it, about about seeking attention from other men. That's a, that's a, that's the spirit you don't want. That's a thought that you don't want, man. Go ahead. A desire her not for pleasure. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger and impudence and much reproach. Verse, verse 25. Give the water. Verse 17. Verse 17. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. Right, black man. This is what's going on. Because, because, because a, black, a black woman has too much freedom in America, man. They have now they have now embarrassed us. They have embarrassed us because they thought they have another spirit. It's the spirit of America. I'm not telling this ain't this ain't no hate speech. This ain't no, this, this is not no speech against hating a black woman at all. We love women black. We love our women back here. These men got wives. How many wives you got, Captain Shot? About 10? How many wives you got, uh, Captain Nah? About 20? We, can, we got we love our women back here. But we want them to be instructed well. With well instruct with, with well instructed, man. We want them to have good instructions, man, and be and be and be, and be well disciplined, man. Read it and read it again. Go ahead. Yes, like it. The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. But she don't want a woman like this, Reed. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors. Right. You're gonna be you gonna be you gonna be sitting up, you're gonna be sitting sitting with your boys, chilling with your boys. And somebody's gonna be like, yeah, it was it was a it was a woman out here. She was looking good, man. She had a she was she was looking like a hoe. She had a suit, she had a two-piece suit. She had, a, she, had a, uh, she had some leggings with a, with a thong. You can see her thong and everything. And then when you come to find out it was your woman, your woman, you're gonna be embarrassed. You're gonna be embarrassed when you find out that this that this thought that these men is talking about is your woman. Read it again. That's all the embarrassment. Go ahead. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. You, you wanna sigh bitterly, man. Black man, it's time, it's time for you. To, and the main thing is you. It ain't, it, it ain't out here just to get on women. It's the main because the main focus is you being the head of the household. Right. And, be, and because and because America has taught our women not to obey their man as the as the authority or as the head of the household. That was that's that's when we fall. Black man, you the head of the household, and you and you got to fight for your authority. You don't, you don't have to use your fists. You don't have to use your hands. You use your voice. You want to yell, you yell too, man. You fix your household. You are the strong man to keep the house together. Right. And you tell your woman that she's not going to be dressing like a whore. Right. You tell your woman, you tell you tell your black woman so she understand where it's come from, where, 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 where dressing like a whore comes from, you tell her that she's not going to be out here dressing like a white woman. That's the best thing you can tell her. Because then she understands where this, where, this, where this drug addict, homosexual, and whore lifestyle come from. Of America, man. It comes from America. America is Babylon a great whore. 
and if, and, and if you and, and, and uh, for us to survive, and, and we feel like and we feel like to survive and live in America, we gotta follow America. Like last month was what? Last month was Gay Pride. So we we felt we felt as though we felt as though because we were because we because we were American, now we gotta celebrate Gay Pride. We feel as though we feel as though because it's 420. Now we gotta get high on 420. That ain't that's not what we're gonna do. We gotta now erase the culture of America, man. The culture of America was never good for the black man. It was never good for the Hispanic man. We got to get back to this Bible, okay? Read it again. Go ahead. The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkening her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors. They say what? Her husband what? Her husband shall sit among his neighbors. Her husband, so she, her husband, black woman, Hispanic woman. Do not if, if you have, if you have a man, do not be like this. Do not be, do not embarrass your man in front of his neighbors and in front of his friends. Read again, her husband what? Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. He, when he hear what? When he hear, when he hear his wife is dressing like a whore. When he hear his wife is acting a fool out in the street, he does what? Shall sigh bitterly. He's gonna sigh bitterly and be embarrassed, man. He's gonna sigh bitterly and be embarrassed. But guess what? And this Bible, this Bible, this Bible has a book of Esther. This Bible got books and stories about about righteous women that, that did righteous acts. Why? Because that's that's when they were following the laws of God. When we when we fall away from the laws of God, we disobey God and we embarrass our whole race. We embarrass our people, man. That's what we doing out here. We, we, that's what we do out here. We embarrass ourselves. What, what, uh, what verse you on? 18? Read on. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Right. If you got an evil woman, because some of you, some, some of you brothers are blessed, and you got a you got a good you got a good you got a, a ride or die wife, a good wife. And some of us, unfortunately, because we made bad decisions, you got you a, a evil a, a dragon. You got you a monster. And I pray for you. And I and I pray for you, brother. I pray for you. You come home. Some, sometimes you work from nine to five, but you made up a lie. You told her, oh, "Babe, I got to work a little late today." You ain't got you, ain't, you and it's just because you don't want to get home. Right. It's just because you don't want to get home and hit that mouth. But it's okay. All you have, to, black man. All you gotta do is just change your spirit. Our, our spirit, in, our spirit in America. We are too weak as black men. Right. America, has, America has weakened us and made us effeminate. Right. But if you come back to this Bible and be a masculine, a masculine lion like you are supposed to, you will run that house and you will humble your wife. But you don't even have to put your hands on her. You change your ways and watch her change. And tell her, guess what? If she don't, if she don't want to change, you guess what? It's not evil for you to get another wife. You can have two wives. You can have three wives. It's not. It is not. It's not a sin. Do not let. Do not. Uh, do not let the pastor tell you that you are sinning if you have another woman. That is not. That is not. Uh, that is not biblical. Moses. How many wives did Moses have? Three. How many wives did Moses? That does King Solomon have? Seven. Seven hundred. How many wives? How many wives did King Solomon have? Seven hundred wives. When you read the Bible, these men, these men in the Bible had had wives, man. The only, the only, the only, the only, the only thing, the only, the only thing when you mess it up, black man, is if you have sex with a whore, then you are sinning. If you go, if you get you a prostitute, you get you some woman you're trying to have a one night stand with, you are disobeying God. If you get you, if you have one woman and get another woman, you are with both of them for the, until you die, until the, for the rest of your life. Those are your women until they until they have sex with another man or they leave you. That's it. Read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 25, verse 18. Verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. All right, and what and when your woman and when your woman do when you have an evil woman and she do something small, you ask her, hey, why you do this? Or why you out there dressing like that embarrassing me? Oh, it's just a it's just a little shirt. I just showed a little belly. I just had a little stomach. I just, I just had on some leggings, and yeah, they, they, they can see my thong through my leggings. But it was, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. That kind of woman you don't want. That ain't the woman you want, man. Cause it, what is read that again? All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. And that's the same woman that will say when, when you see her at work with her work husband, and you say, who is that? 
She said, oh, that's just, that's just a friend. That's just a friend, but nah, that ain't just a friend. That, she said, that, she said, she said, oh, that, she said you, know, you know the Quan? The, the Quan, the Quan, the Quan is the one, one time when it was, when it was raining, and he gave me a ride, he gave me a ride home because you was, you was working late. The Quan, you know the Quan. The Quan, the, that's the Quan. The one that's, the one that is, uh, covered that is buying her lunch. I said, you know what, uh, let me, let me buy you some lunch today on break. I got you. He's trying to work in on your wife. And guess what, it's, and guess what? It's two different wives. You got wives out here at work. When men try to approach them, they straight up, and they, they, they real, they real strong. And they like, nah, they like, nah, I got a man. I'm good. But it's other men, there's other women, who, in their mind, they not happy or whatever. They, they, they're, they looking at somebody else's life and they wish their life was like that. So they try to, they try to look, they try to say, well, you know what? Let me see what, I, I got a man, but let me see what this man has to offer. Let me, let me, let me see what this man, thank you, brother. Let me see what this man has to offer, man. And guess what? They just be, they just be hoes, man. Black man. <laughs> happy, happy, sir. It has nothing to do with being happy or unhappy, happy or unhappy. You have just, you have just chosen a whore, man. Too many, too many whores are being, are being magnified. And too many good women aren't being magnified, man. Right, good. You gotta magnify a good, right, thank you, sister. You gotta magnify a good, righteous woman. And today, if, you, if, it's, if it's hot outside, if it's 90 degrees outside, and you're not dressing like a whore, I magnify you today. But if you dress, if, you, if it's hot outside, and you're dressing like a thought, you got some work to do, man. You got some serious work to do. All right, brother, all right, sister, man. Go ahead.